Hey there, I'm Nelson, and I'm gonna show you how to turn your cut pile into a loop pile. So first things first, make sure that the machine is off and cut the power to the machine. You're gonna grab your uh, loop element, which you'll need in a moment. It's in the bag with the repair parts. And you'll also need a screwdriver, a wrench, and one of the Allen keys that's in the pack. So first things first is that we wanna remove the front handlebar. And to do that, we'll need the Allen key. And on the top of the machine, there's four screws, and we need to remove them. So two of the screws are fairly easy. They just come out immediately. But the other two on the right side, they also have the scissor closing mechanism attached to them. So we'll start with those. Put in the Allen key. So we remove both of them. And you'll end up with this. And we'll put that to the side for a moment. So turn the machine around. The two other ones, it's one. So once you've removed all four of the screws, we can remove the front handlebar. It's fairly easy. You can just grab it and pull it out, your front handlebar. So put that to the side for a moment. So the next thing we want to do is rem remove this screw at the bottom. This screw keeps the whole scissor compartment, the lower end of the machine in place. So we'll use the wrench to remove that. Put the screw on there. Keep this somewhere safe. And then here comes the front part. We remove it from the lower compartment. And now we can slide out the whole scissor element. So the lower compartment of the machine. So we don't need the gun for this part, so I'll lay it on the side as well. So we'll focus on this element right here. The lower compartment that holds the scissor or the loop element. It is being held there with just one screw, which we're gonna remove in a moment. But just some word of advice. This screw is quite fragile. If you use a screwdriver that's too big or too small, you might damage it. Uh, so we always advise to make sure that you use one that's the proper size. If you do damage it, no worries. In your spare bag, there's also a replacement screw. So we're gonna remove the small screw, it's at the back. Now it comes out. And as you can see, this is your scissor element. So now we grab the loop element. So first grab your screw, put it in the back, place it on top. And now we're gonna screw it in. Make sure it's nice and tight. There you go, it's attached. So now you can grab the machine again Put it on the lower compartment. There you go. And then we want to make sure that the bottom rod is matching its height. You can push it on there. Reattach this. So make sure it's nice and tight so that it does not come loose while you're tufting. So once the lower compartment is fixed again, we grab the front handlebar. I always advise to put the machine on like this. And then just put it on top. Make sure it fits correctly, falls into place. And then we start with the two screws on the left side of the machine. So make sure these are nice and tight as well. And then comes the fun part which is the, the right side, which holds the scissor closing element. Insert these as well. And then make sure that the little hook is also pointing to the side. Now, we replace the cut element, the scissor, for the loop element. Now, before you turn it on, always make sure that you spin the gears once to make sure that this whole system is moving fluently. Yeah, looks good, nothing's jammed. Then I always do one with the power on before I start tufting. So I put the power back on, put it on, try it out. Ready to go. So the machine's now set to loop pile. We're gonna set our first line. And something to keep in mind when you switch the loop pile is it, it takes a bit more time. Why? It does not cut for you anymore. So as you can see, if I pull it out of the machine, 
it all goes out of the frame. So with loop pile, there's an extra task for you as a tufter, which is that you have to cut every time you're done. So always keep a scissor standby, make your lines, and then once you're done, make sure you cut them off. <laughs>